So I'm thinking that the, we need to rethink the concept first before we make things smart. Because if we make the wrong things smart, we make them perfectly wrong. Yeah. So that's why I'm not into this, what you heard yesterday about, um, about uh, doing more for less. Because for more for less is just killing the planet more profoundly. Because we define environmental protection when we destroy less. We say, please protect the environment, make less waste. Please protect the environment, reduce your water consumption. But you're not protecting, you're only destroying less. It's like same as I would say, please protect your child or your wife, yeah? beat your child only three times instead of five times. Yeah? That's not protecting, it's only minimizing destruction. In that logic of a smart city, you would always need to take the elevator in a building instead of taking the stairs. Because people talk about carbon footprint, and you can minimize your carbon footprint five times if you take the elevator. Because it takes five times less energy to lift a person in an elevator than feeding the person with the calories. The calories are at least five times more energy intensive. So if you want to protect the environment in the logic, take the elevator. Yeah. And then you die a little earlier, you can minimize your carbon footprint even more. Yeah. So look at Barcelona. Yeah. You see people talk about eco-efficiency everywhere here. But this is pretty stupid, because what you do is you're optimizing the wrong things. Yeah. Think about Gaudi being efficient. Think about falling in love with somebody efficiently. Yeah. Think about everything in life which matters is not efficient. Why do we want to be eco-efficient? Getting more out of the same resource, more for less. How stupid. We traditionally think from cradle to grave. We take things, we make things, and we put things into landfills or in incinerators. But we don't protect the environment. We only destroy the planet a little slower if we do this. And people talk about the energy problem, but we don't have an energy problem. We have a carbon mismanagement problem. We, so carbon dioxide is a material, not the energy per se. But this is how our planet looks like. We have plastic in the oceans, and there are more whales and seals and turtles being killed by plastic than by anything else. The areas which you see here, the plastic concentration is 40 times higher than the plankton concentration, and all these animals eat the plastic. Now we can say this is unethical, but we always forget ethics, not only the Germans, when we are under stress. Yeah. So when you make it a moral issue, like El Goro says the greenhouse effect is a moral issue, yeah, you will not solve it because whenever you need moral issues yeah, and moral thinking, it's never there. This is why El Goro didn't do anything when he was in power. Yeah. So we want to be carbon neutral. You could hear it before as well in that speech. But and we talk about sustainability. How stupid. Yeah. Look about how is your relationship with your girlfriend or your wife sustainable? Yeah. If this is our biggest goal, to be sustainable, then I'm really sorry for you. Yeah. And then we talk about, oh, our children get it. Our children will see it. Yeah. Every dictatorship grabs the children if they cannot get the adults. Yeah. We should not take our children as hostages only because we are too stupid. That doesn't make sense. So Copenhagen wants to be carbon neutral in 2050. Spain wants to be, in, Spain wants to be carbon neutral in 2050. Yeah, and yeah, Copenhagen wants to be carbon neutral in 2025. You can only be carbon neutral when you don't exist. That's the only way. Yeah. How nice. Yeah. Just by thinking you're not carbon neutral. Yeah. We talk about zero emission, zero waste. You can only have zero emission if you don't exist. That's the only way. Yeah. OK, even if you would shoot yourself right now, you would have emissions. So don't do. Yeah. But this is our biggest goal. We feel so bad to be on this planet that we think it's better not to exist. Yeah. So this is why people do passive houses in smart cities. Passive houses. OK, if you have some sadomaso needs, a passive house is great. Yeah. But for normal people, no. It's just we have a massive indoor air quality problem. If I analyze the air quality, and you can see how stupid we are, take the conference bag, you easily find 30 carcinogens stinking out of this bag. Yeah. It's bloody bag. It's never designed for 
humans. Yeah, it's only designed to be cheap. What we do is now, we make things perfect which are wrong, and we make them perfectly wrong. 